back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. My name is Cheryl. I love decorating my home with style on a budget and I love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is. So if you love home decorating and you love decorating your home with style on a budget, then this is the channel for you. So I would hope you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell and become a member of the iStyle My Style family. So guys, you know I am in the midst of my spring refresh. I told you guys that I want to do little budget friendly updates in my home to create my budget luxury look. I told you guys last year I want to give my home a look and high end feel but do it on a budget. So last year as I talked to you about before we painted out the wall here, we painted it black, we refreshed my entryway all to give me a budget luxury aesthetic feel and look and so this year we're doing my kitchen so let me show you where we left off all right so this is where we have left off with the kitchen refresh um the first thing we did was we changed the artwork over there we changed up the upper cabinets by adding some accessories that were very aesthetic. We changed out our lighting. A lot of you guys have asked me where I got this light. So this light is actually a DIY. If you remember, it came with some clear globes and I wanted to update the look, give it a more dramatic feel. So I changed out these globes with ones that I picked up from Ikea. They were $37.99, so $38 a piece. The light, I don't remember where I got it. It was either from, I wanna say Wayfair or um, Overstock, I don't remember. Um, but it was very similar to something I saw, I wanna say it was from West Elm previously that was really, really pricey. You guys know I love to get the looks look for less, so I'm always looking for dupes. And I found this one, I wanna say on Overstock or Wayfair. If I can figure out where I got it, I will leave a link for you, but it doesn't come this way. These globes actually came from Amazon. So you guys remember we updated our cabinets, or sorry, our counters last. We painted them out and we had to let them cure. We did a new countertop also, or an island top also from Ikea. And these stools are new, you haven't seen these. So these came from Amazon. I absolutely love them. They are very modern, very aesthetic in appearance. And they also brighten up the kitchen so, so much. I love the way they look here in the space. I will leave these linked in my Amazon storefront in case you are interested. Anything that I mentioned came from Amazon. You can shop 24 seven in my Amazon storefront. And yeah, when you do shop there, I do get a small commission. So thank you so much in advance. So these were what I consider to be very budget friendly, although you might not think they were very budget friendly. So these chairs were, I wanna say $328 for the three. So $100 a chair, which I don't think is bad as bad at all because chairs can cost you a lot more. So all in all, our budget refresh was just the globes, the island, the paint, that was $500. And then these chairs was an additional three. So less than $1,000 for a budget luxury kitchen makeover. Yes, please and thank you. I do not think that is a lot to spend at all when you're trying to give your kitchen a whole new look and feel, absolutely love the kitchen you guys love it too so now the dilemma i love it so much with the counters bare i don't know that i'm going to love it <laughs> when i put my things that i need back but we have to put them back you cannot have a kitchen a functioning kitchen without your necessity so that's what all of this stuff is over here yes all of this stuff so well not all of it most of it so this is the dilemma. What do I put back on the counters? So that is what we are going to tackle today. I did start by adding my oil bottles back over here and I'm, I don't know that I wanna keep those. I think I have these 
oil bottles that I want to use. And in fact, I am going to use them. I just need to wipe them down and put on new labels. The labels I got were black though. I think that will pop on these or should I add them back to the ones over there, which is what I originally got them for. I don't know. I'm just so torn. I don't want to put things back on the counters because I love the uncluttered look. Leave me a comment down below. Do you love an uncluttered kitchen counter? Do you only have things out that you want to use regularly or do you have other things? So that is where I am right now. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to, I'm going to style this area with you guys and we're going to live with it for a little bit, see how I like it and then come back and decorate everything else. All right. I want to apologize. The mowers are out cutting the grass. So one of the first things that I want to bring back into this space is my coffee maker. So I'm going to bring that back over here into this space. So there is that. Also, I wanted to show you guys, bear with me, you know my countertops are painted. And I want to make them last for as long as possible. So I ordered some glass cutting boards from Amazon. And this is how it looks. And I want to set my appliances on top of these to sort of protect our faux finish on the counters. So, Here is our glass surface. Love it. I think I might need to get more of these because I actually got this one to go on the opposite side. Let me bring you with me over here. I actually got it to go over on this side for our coffee maker that goes on that side. So that's how this would look. And again, I'm not sure how I feel about <clears throat> how I feel about any of this stuff because I love the island or the countertops with nothing on them versus having things on them. <laughs> so That is how that would look here in the space. Are you crooked? You look crooked. So I thought I was filming. I wasn't. So anyway, I put another one of these black um, cutting boards over here and I set the air fryer on top of it. Again, because we're dealing with things that involve heat, I don't know how well the countertop will hold up. So I wanted to protect it as much as possible. So again, I got these from Amazon. I got another one of them on this side for the coffee maker. So there's that one. Here's that one again to protect the counter as much as possible. So again, only want to put things on the counter that I'm actually going to use. I just saw that the cutting board came with the little protective feet. So I am going to go ahead and add these to protect the finish on the other side because again, we wanna to try to make our countertops last as long as possible. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these 
little protective feet to the back oops, of this cutting board. And these are cutting boards, but I am going to use them as countertop protectors. And they are glass, so they should hold up for quite a while. When I was looking up something to protect the countertop, they did have rubber ones, but I prefer these glass ones. Um, I think they will hold up a lot better. And because they are glass, I'm hoping that they won't leave any type of residue on my white painted countertops, even though we have a protective coating, a clear glaze on them. But, well, now this won't move. I guess, which is a good thing. I will set it back here. All right, so. There's the coffee maker our feet are on. Now I just need to get another one to go on this side. But for now, we won't have one. Let's finish decorating this area. Again, I apologize for the noise that you are hearing from the mowers. There's always something going on whenever I try to film a video. So the next thing we're going to bring in is our marble cutting board. If I can get a cup of it to bring it over. So here's our marble cutting board. This has little feet on it as well, and it is going to protect our countertop. On this, I had um, okay. I had our syrup bottles that I want to put back on here, and also. We had our canisters of sugar that I wanna set back on here. Light this down really good. And this one even though the lid doesn't fit very well on this one. And then I had our espresso cups. What did I do with those? I had these cups that came from Ross. We'll set those back. And then I have this cute little espresso cup that says espresso. It came from H&M Home that I have that I put on this one. And can you see that? I love how that looks. Um, we also had some mugs for the coffee. This came from Amazon. So we'll set this back over here. And what else did we have? Oh, we had my tea. I love to drink tea. This, this 
was something that I picked up from the Target dollar spot that I painted black. And I keep my Smeg Tea kettle on it. So we're gonna take that and put it back over here as well. that I was using for um, little cinnamon and other little things that I want to put in coffee. So I had that sitting there. This does not look even. There's that. So that's everything that we had. All right, so this is how this area is looking. Again, I don't wanna put so many things back on the counters. I want it to be very simplistic. So I think what we have here is enough. We have our air fryer there. We have our coffee maker here. We have our condiments over here, but again, I think I wanna switch those out. And then I want to add something decorative in that corner. So I also got this cookbook holder that I want to try to use here in the kitchen. I need to figure out how this goes together. two pieces and apparently this goes in here like this goes the other way around. Um, I'm directionally challenged. either. together. says It's 
get our book. Where is it? So we have our Magnolia book. And I would like to be displayed, but I want it to set up. Not down. So now I would like this to come over here and be displayed something to set you down. Something like this maybe? All these cutting boards that I don't really need. So I need to figure out which ones I want to use. I think I want to use this large one like that and then have this one as well stuck to the side along with that one. Can you see that? You guys can't see. Um, and then do I want to have this here along with this trivet that I got from CB2 and this plant. I like that. Again, I don't want to use a lot here. In the space, so I think that looks nice. Gotta bring in our toaster. Of our smeg toaster that we use. So I'm going to keep it around. Plug it in, hide the cords. That's how that looks. And then We have our utensil holder, but I don't think I'm going to use the utensil holder anymore. But here is the utensil holder. This is what set here before. So we could use that. Um, I also had my um, 
can opener, but I don't know that I want that on the counter anymore. So let's leave that off for now. Let's see. I also had this mortar and pedestal here before that I want to try to keep over here. And what else? All right, so here's the labels that I got to go on our oil and vinegar bottles. They look like this. And I think this will look better on the black, maybe. But here's the labels. Like I said, I will leave everything that I purchased from Amazon, including these labels, in the description box down below. So, wipe this off really good. And I want this to be as centered as possible. Okay. bubbles in it but it's hard to get these on when you have this round bottle and I do not like the way it works at all can we get it back on I don't like that this did not go on straight. Do not like that at all. I like the look. I don't like the way the label went on. So, we have our old bottles. Let's see. All right, we're going to try to use the original bottles and see how this works out. So try to center it here. This works out a lot better. As you can see, it looks very, very nice. Whereas this one, the label didn't go on very well. I think it's because it's not as round. It's more of a concave type shape. So we'll have to use these. I believe I'll put olive oil in, avocado oil rather, in this one. So let's make sure it goes on really well. There's those two. Um, all right, let's fill this one up. If you didn't know, the best place to get your avocado oil is TJ Maxx. You can get it for a very affordable price. Just check the dates. Make sure it hasn't expired. But I always get my avocado oil from TJ Maxx. There 
we go. Let's chop this off a little bit. All right, and we'll go set them in place. All right, so this is where I had the oil previously over here. And that's how it looks. So I have a dilemma styling the counters. I like the counters when they were simple, simplistic, not a lot of things. I have this knife set that used to be over here. I like the simplicity of this. I don't think I'm going to put this here. I think I'm going to clean out one of those drawers and put it there. This over here, I used to keep these out. I don't think I like it. I think it looks better without these being there it looks clean and simple and i think i like that better i just like the countertops with less stuff on them now i do like that this is a necessity so it needs to be there over here, I put back the other things I had. I want to get something different to house these brushes. These things will stay. I put this plant here. I like the way that looks. I like this. I like this. I need to do something about these cords. I need a cord wrangler. But other than that, I think this space looks okay as well. I think I want to change this out though, but it's hiding a plug. So that's why, why it's there now. So yeah. So just to give you an overview, this, let me get this out of your way. And I need to get these other things off the counter, even though you probably can't see them. We'll put those back on the table for now because I don't want to see them. This over here. All right. So, with the things back on the counters, this is how the kitchen is looking. I don't mind that. That's okay. Although, I do need to move that over a little bit to camouflage this cord a little bit more with some greenery because I don't want to see that. Okay. All right. Let's go back and look again. All right. I like that area. I like that. Over here, I need to tweak that some more. I like that area. The toaster is a necessity. We can't do anything about that. This area still needs a little bit of work. Um, yeah, so I said I was going to try to do everything using what I have, but I think I am gonna have to buy something. I just don't know what it is yet, but I wanna get a new um, drying mat for here. This is okay. I need to get something there for the utensils. This is okay. These two canisters are okay. I need to do something about that print. Cord Wrangler. Um, but yeah, and this is how this area is looking over here. Not too bad. I don't know what I had here. But I feel like I need something here. I'm not sure what that will be. Maybe if I take this greenery and move it down here. And then this will just be over here. How does that look? Um, I don't know, I like it better over here. Let's put this back over here. 
I don't know, I just like it better there. Um, so yeah, I need to do something here. So we'll, we'll have to come back to this, but this is how the countertops are looking so far. Leave me a comment down below, like I said. Do you like to have a lot of things on your counters or do you not? I find that I do not now, so I need to figure out some other things. So on that note, we are going to end the video here today, my friends. I hope you have enjoyed the video and you come back for more decorating inspiration. If so, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up if I could talk. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle, My Style family. And with that, my friends, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.